Good morning. Hi, I'm Vigley, and I'm very new to Minecraft. Now, as an outsider who's able to judge fairly, I can say one thing: this game's trap building community needs help. All the traps are boring. There's no spark to them. But you know what? I created this video to show you some exclusive, never done before, explicitly sparkling, and very simple trap ideas. Enjoy. The first thing is what you could call an intermittent fall trap. I'll explain. To set up this trap, you need a bit of redstone, but it's nothing serious. I figured it out, so you will definitely have no problems. With this simple mechanism, you need to create not once, not twice, but as many times as you can. You feel the novelty? In every chest, you place a diamond, and right now I'm playing the victim of the trick. As usual, they're supposed to stroll down the hill. And suddenly see a chest with a diamond. That's great, sure. So they've fallen down now, but nothing serious happened. They see chest number two, and let their guard down. Chest three, four, five, until chest X dooms them. Now the disadvantage is that this trap may be ineffective against advanced players or people with strong will, but you never know if it's gonna work in your case until you try, right? Oh, and if you're not rich, it works perfectly well with nerds who are driven closer by fun facts. The next trap is as intriguing as it is nostalgic. Because it's an Aether portal. You're probably thinking, well, you surely can't create an Aether portal in Minecraft. Then how fascinated would you be if you saw one right in front of you, in vanilla? It looks great, but it's a vicious trap, of course. To create this, you will need a redstone mechanism. But don't worry, it's not for the sake of the redstone, but for the sake of a glitch. By building this, I didn't, I didn't come up with this. So the uh, the original video, I leave it in the description. But by building whatever this is, you will achieve this lovely, non-flowing look for your portal. And now, imagine. The way your victim will react. They take a turn just to see an Aether portal. A real one? But finally, a childhood dream will come true. They hop into the frame enthusiastically. They wait and wait and wait, but they don't get transported to the Aether dimension. A thought starts to form in their head. Is it just a... But they don't get a chance of finishing it because they die! That's what I call an elaborate trap! Oh, that's what I call a good trap! Now for the third and final trap. This trap is not ordinary. It works psychologically. What does that mean? Your victim is lost because they don't know what the hell is going on. Upon coming closer, your victim will see that the entrance is covered by a painting. Now such spots often hide rather evil and deadly traps, but upon entering, your victim will in fact find no trap which will put a sense of unease in their heart. After going up the stairs, the victim of your viciousness will be met with a view of the redstone room. Again, you need absolutely no knowledge of how redstone works. Nothing needs to happen, but it should seem 
like something will happen and your victim is destabilized. Up next, there's this switch path and the grub room with a crab trivia. How many legs does a crab have? How simple, you may think. There's a crab right here. It is one, two, three, six, seven, eight legs. But upon opening the corresponding chest, your victim will in fact find nothing. Because grubs are decapods. They have ten legs. I just didn't have the space to build them all. <laughs> That's vile. But if the person dropped in here happens to be up to the task, they will find a button and open the door. By the way, what is the matter with hermit crops in English? So English speaking people look at this and then at this and they think, oh, that's a crab? And that's a crab? Well, this is no good. Anyways, I'm nearing the moon. There's nothing in here except for a sign which states that Americans have been to the moon. It's kind of targeted and the expectation is that your victim is a conspiracy theorist and they believe that the moon landing was a hoax. Listen out. They will get so angry that they will walk along this plank and start jumping up to show that you can't just reach the moon. Thus, they trapped on this stage forever. Take notes. My friends, I was curious and wanted to know how many Americans really do believe that there has been no moon landing. And it turned out that it's just 6% of them. So does that make my trap kind of ineffective? Well, actually no, because right after it, I looked up the same thing for Russians and according to different polls, 50 to 69% of them don't think that Americans have ever been to the moon. That's the market. And another thing, if you've been to the moon, don't go to Russia or you'll be depreciated. The next part of the trap is a little parkour course. Parkour course? It sounds so strange. Parkour... okay. After which you can see an exit. Yes, jump right out and be free! So here your victim is required to do this jump. And upon failing to sprint, they fall down and have no choice but to continue. But look, there's no parkour and an exit just like the other one. Did this devious torture come to an end? They gain speed <laughs> and die so that they can't risk all nature that is just on the exit. <laughs> This is a good one. Now that's all I wanted to show. Of course it's easy to laugh at a pioneer, but well, and if someone is seeing this video, I would be very happy if you gave some earnest feedback on my little compilation. And if you're watching this and I have zero people subscribed, I think you should be the first. After all, I need to make these for someone. Goodbye!